How much snow did you get, Paul? I'm sorry if you put that earlier and it's already scrolled by in the... Yeah, well, you know, Dan, that's just how it was on the NES. <laughs> we didn't have the... Uh, we didn't have the color clash of the spectrum, but we sure did have flicker. We had flicker like you wouldn't believe. This is cool. Little nighttime forest scene. I'm a sucker for scenery in games. And we'll go ahead and do another save state here. Nope. This is also, of course, very Sonic-like. Oh. Wow. That is quite a snow. We very, very... John, do you remember when the last time we got three feet of snow in West Virginia was? I can remember in, like, 90, 94, we had a really bad storm. We got about that much. We might have had more. Yeah, you're right. It is uh, very Contra-like, especially with these logs. I wish I could figure out how to uh, do that properly. Maybe this is the one that you hit. Yeah. Oh, come on. Don't do me like that. Was it worth two hearts to get the extra life? Probably. So here's the moving logs. It is Contra. Yeah, the uh, the sequel to this game is one of the rarest Nintendo games ever. Um, the Surprise at Dinosaurs, or oh shoot, Surprise at Dinosaur Peak. Um, it um, I found it at a flea market. And sold it for like 275 bucks, and the label was in rough, rough, rough condition. So, it's one of the um, my two great thrift store slash flea market finds. Uh, that game, and then oh, I did the exact same thing. Can you believe that? The exact same thing. Um, the other game I found was a sealed copy of Maniac Mansion, uh, the original version for the PC big box and uh and I, I sold that on ebay as well because at that time the money i got for it was worth a lot more i needed the money a lot more than the, the box but if i found that now i might keep it it was just looked cool actually that's a lie i'd probably uh sell it and, and buy something that i wanted because although i like maniac mansion i'm not like a huge maniac mansion fan and I might use that money to buy one of the few remaining big uh, black box NES titles that I need. I still need uh, big box stack up and Donkey Kong Junior Math for the black box series. All right, I'll go get him. What is prehistoric? I've never heard of that, Duncan. So this is where having the axe would come in handy. Well, taking a hit there. How do how do I get by that? Curious if you have unlimited continues. Alright, I guess you do. So that's handy. Well, the problem is, Henrik, is that my item was a slingshot, which only goes straight forward, and I can't jump up and fire the slingshot. I can't jump up high enough to uh, so the key is I guess don't get the don't get the slingshot when it's offered to you, keep throwing X. There we go. Is 
This is an Amiga trick, where if you just drop straight down, you die. I hate blind jumps. Huh. Like I was saying before, I'd love to love to get my hands on a CPC. This is a two-hit, two-hit guy. One for the head, one for the body. Yeah, whatever. Now it's time to play, stupid snake. Ooh, this looks fun. This looks like a good place to save my game. Neat little animation there. Oh, oh, that's that's the end. <laughs> okay, so I gotta swing up. Just flung up in the air. It's very Super Mario Brothers 2 like. Okay, so okay. Well, at least this this makes a little bit more sense than that last boss. I wonder how you jump up there. Wouldn't it be cool to know. There's got to be something hidden somewhere around here. Well. Oh, shoot. Oh! Oh my gosh, I'm terrible. Yeah, it's very hinder hair. It's very hairy in the Henderson's big foot. What is that little guy? I don't like them at all. Oh my gosh. Well, that was less than successful. Let's save and stay here. Just clobber him. Just go. Just die. Oh, I feel like that's the secret. You just hit him with the coconut, and then you just start wailing on him. Yeah, because he, he can't be injured in, unless you hit him with it. Well, maybe he can. It really would be helpful if I had more than three hearts, too. Yeah, I've got unlimited continues, but it, it puts me all the way back at the beginning of the stage. So I'd like to beat him if I can with, without having to go back. But if it turns out that I, I need more hearts, 
to do it, then I'll have to. It's funny, too, because, like, he doesn't drop those little, like, mini Bigfoots or whatever those are. All the time. And the thing, like, why should the coconuts hurt you? The answer is they shouldn't. That's dumb. And then it's like as soon as you get near enough him to do some damage, it starts blowing those stupid things on you. No, but you do have a power meter. Well, I guess maybe the... I take it back, Paul. You can build your power meter. So, the problem is, is that when you're terrible like I am... Man, I was really doing good. I think that that's... I think that that's the secret, though, Paul. The secret is also not getting hit. Alright, I'm going to try one more time, and if it doesn't work this time, then I'll go back and um, get some more hearts. Is there a way to call Kazoo to help me, Ricky? Good night, Edvin. Thanks for staying up with us a little bit. All right, while you're doing that, we'll try it again here. Because it seems like when you hit him hard. He has a tendency to do the big jump, which you can you can actually slide under. Like, oh, if you weren't an idiot like I am. Yeah, so the, the key is... The key is to stand a little bit farther away. And then just slide under. Like this. Oh, shoot. It's a very fine line of where you're supposed to stand. But I know for a fact this is how you beat this boss. See, the problem is, is also once you start charging your mallet, you get locked in that animation. Bam! Whew, boy, that was that was something, all right. All right, time machine piece acquired, guys. We are going to beat this game. The last basketball arena.
How you been, Eric? I haven't seen you in a while. Ah. Oh. It's the first point he's ever scored against me. Oh. Man. Ah, uh, I understand. We gotta play the prevent defense here. Well, you know what they say about the prevent defense, it only prevents you from winning. No! No! Oh boy. Oh, I've totally lost my composure. So I've got to beat this guy to continue. So let me see if I can guess which ones you've got. You've got regular basketball, real sports basketball, and what's the third one? I'm trying to think of what the third, what is the, is uh, was I right two out of three, Henrik? I think Kazoo only comes, I think he, he comes, uh, at certain point. I don't know. I see it seems like to me that like Kazoo would show up too when I would play this. Oh, okay. I thought there were actually three different basketball. Are, are all the games the same? Yeah, they're all just Atari basketball. Back when I had a real collection, I, I used to have a couple variant things like that too. I'm trying to think about. Of course, the most obvious one is having like 18 million different versions of Super Mario Brothers, but they were just, you know, different pack ins and things like that. It's running the clock down. All right. supposed to run and tell that this is going to be a section where things really get hairy. And it's like, was that worth it? Probably not, because now I'm going to have to spend a heart just getting out of here. John, how would you like to uh, try your hand at composing a theme song for the uh, Amigos Retro Gaming Presents podcast? Since you are so musically inclined. No going up. Let's see, I guess I've got to jump from there to there. Yeah, you're right, Dan. There's always a castle at the end. Oh, nope. Bats or birds? They're both the worst. 
Oh my gosh, no, no, no. Don't send me back down here. Well, I know where I'm going to make a save state. Ah! Man, just think about how much easier this game would have been if I had known about this before. When you press start, this is how you call kazoo. Okay. So now, now things make a lot more sense. So if we... Oh, why did I do that? That would be super, super awesome. Okay, let's try to jump in here and see what that is. So all of that, all of those places where I was like, I wonder how you do that. I wonder how you jump up there. Well, this is how you do it. Just like that. Nothing like going through the whole game in hard mode. Huh? I'm gonna handle that. Oh boy! I can't handle that. <laughs> All right, back at the castle. That's right, Ricky. So it's five coins each time you use this thing. Okay, so we'll go ahead and... Oh, we won't do a safe state there yet. That's true. You know, I just showed that movie to my wife for the first time a couple weeks ago. She's, she's a fan. She likes Indy. Fast jump time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. Boy, that is... That is some tricky stuff. Let's go ahead and do a quick... Well, anyway. I'm hesitant to... Oh, come on. You got to let me jump. I guess I'm I'm trapped by the the rate of the lava anyway, so. I know. Some of these kids games don't play around in the later levels. I honestly don't know how you're supposed to have enough time to do that. Unless you're just maybe I'm Oh, you know what? Maybe I, that's where you fly. I bet that's where you fly. Yeah, that's one of the things that you can do. You can swim, jump, dive, or fly. These things, like this thing always reminded me, I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it reminded me of like when I would go to the zoo as a kid, there would be these like plastic juice, um, you get juice of these plastic cups that were shaped like different animals and I always wanted one so bad my parents would never buy them for me. And that's what I always 
thought about when I when I see this. Okay, so boom, boom, boom. Pause. Fly. Oh, flying. Not gonna get you too far. Let me just experiment with the flight thing. How how that works exactly? Okay, so I only get three flaps from one from ten coins, which is not not nearly enough. Maybe an alternate route? Maybe I need to stock up more on coins. Yeah, it really flies. Okay, so we're gonna try something different this time. I'm gonna try coming over here. Bats. Trying to make him spawn so I could get him out of the way. No? I guess this is just... So that's how you do it without using coins. So there is a way to do it without. So I'm limited to 10 coins, no matter what I do. Yeah. I'll try it again, maybe I just need to be faster on the button press. did it out of order that time. Okay. This is just like uh, Wily's Castle 2 for in Mega Man 2 where it's like I can play the whole game no problem then I get to one stage and it's just <sighs> Okay. I'll try that Ricky. Maybe what maybe what I've got to do is um, go back to an earlier stage and coin up. Um, maybe that's the answer. I don't know why I'm bothering with these things. Okay, I think you're right though. I, th I think you're right, um, Duncan. I think that's that's the way to go. I think this is this is going to be possible.
Oh. Just out of curiosity. Okay, I can't I can't go back and revisit any previous stages. So I'm saying that that could be an option if I needed extra coins. Cause there just aren't a lot of places to get coins, I guess. Cause killing the skeletons does I don't think it gives me coins, does it? Maybe it maybe it does. Big waste of coins there. It's all right. Do it again. I'm losing my touch here. Yeah, I feel like there's, I, f I still feel like there's a way. As soon as I feel like there's not a way, then it's going to be at the end, but I feel like I can do this. A lot of it comes from, can I get a coin, okay, so I can get a coin from that, that skeleton. So the trick is, is to coin up on these skeletons down here by the switch. That's the secret, that's how you do it. Concerned with anything other than these two skeletons. And I'm sure with practice I can even control. Oh my gosh, they. So here's how we do it, the long slog. I'm gonna go ahead and kill myself now, just so I can have full hearts when I do get there. <laughs> I wish they were Bitcoin. 23 Bitcoin, so that's $23,000. No, 23 Bitcoin is $230,000, right? I think. That's, anyway, it's an insane amount of money for something that's inherently worthless. Not saying that I don't have stupid investments in all kinds of altcoins. Hey. I'm sure if there was a uh, Flintstones that was, you know, currently in production mocking current life, there would be a bone coin for sure. Faux show. Good night, Paul. Stay warm up there. Sorry guys, I know this is the most exciting streaming that you've ever seen in your life, but I want to be prepared. Alright, John.
All right. So we've now coined up. It's now time to save our game. Hit the switch. Let's see how we do. All right. That was it. That's all there is to it. Now the problem is, is that I've got zero lives. So I guess we'll go ahead and just save. Thanks guys, I appreciate it. It, was, it wasn't pretty, but we got the job done. How on earth do you get that? There we go. Okay. Save again. Yeah. Save state. Definitely. Emulators are awesome in that respect. Okay. Let's see what else we got going on in here. So now that I know the true power of coins... Okay, that's a smart bomb, so that's that's neat. Um, with my fly and jump and everything. This game should be a bit easier. Oh, two hits on these guys. And again with the bats. So what I should have done was got that thing first. In fact, oh no, it's too late because I, I made the save. Right. Okay, that's all right. Oh, Frankenstein. It's all right. I know how to get rid of him. Well. Oh boy. That's just your normally occurring Frankenstein. Okay, we save here because we don't know what's below us. Death. Death awaits. Okay, I've got 11 coins. That should be just enough to make a jump here. Sort of float on down. Okay. Dracula, save state. We've got four hearts and full. So this should not be an issue. Or at least I'm in at least as good a position as I'll ever be. Stupid bats. It's all right. Yeah, I know, Henrik. That's sort of like the people that are, get on to me when I say Legos. 
No. There's no such thing as Legos, it's Lego blocks. Yes, yes, yes. But you know, one thing that they never, that they, that, that people never contemplate is what if Dr. Frankenstein actually did name his monster Frankenstein and just, they never talked about that in the book. What do you think about that, huh? Could be. I'm not saying that it was, I'm just saying that it's possible. To where he's spawned right now. I actually don't know how I'm supposed to get to him. He's so far up on that ledge. See, he spawned. A he's he's over a little bit from where he was before. I've got to make sure that he doesn't spawn there by just not getting too close to him. You can't, you can't take stupid hits like that. Okay, don't spawn so far. See, I'm way over here. Okay. Way over here. I also gotta remember the old charged up hit, although, I don't, okay, I'm way over here. I'm not getting the right launch angle off this block. Uh, I don't have enough hearts or coins to use the bomb, unfortunately. is the sign of a, of a true dark lord. What I'm thinking is... Is that... Okay. Once I get him down there, maybe if I can hit him with a couple really powerful strokes... too far over.
My gosh. I'm getting better. At the expense of my thumbs. Hey, Fernando! Oh my gosh. I was doing so freaking well! This is the Castle of Doom. It's the Castle of Doom and Despair. Oh. I just get impatient. And the thing that's funny is is that I've got an extra heart to do it um, to work with too. I mean, I've got four hearts. Normally, I, I'd only have three if I uh, restarted the normal way. Okay, I've got a new theory. All the shots are going to be charge shots. This is at NES. Okay, the problem with it with, with that with that theory is that once the bats start flying, you you can't really you can't dally with charge shot. Got to time it better or something. He he won't come down. He, he won't come down until you hit him. That's the problem. So like I can sit here and beat these bats all day, and he's not going to move. He's not going to move until I come up and swing, swing and hit him. See if I do it right, I can hit him with that power up shot as soon as he spawns. There we go. So that was the secret. I was having too much trouble before because um, I wasn't using the charge shot. Building looks a little robotic. Is that like a face? I don't know. All right. Well, this is officially as far as I've ever made it in the Flintstones. I'm gonna save here just in case. But I think I should still have unlimited continues. But I like this more generous jumping for sure. Now that I know that coins are actually worth something. There's hearts. Thanks, guys. I couldn't have done it without you. If I were just sitting here playing by myself, there's no way I would have stuck it out. Oh, boy. That's a long drop down. All right. Let's see if I've got... Still got unlimited continues, so that's good. He's like every video game character. 
When it comes to underwater breathing, he's an ace. Those things are not cool. Just gotta wait them out, I guess. And they don't infinitely spawn, which is good. Ooh. Sometimes I just forget what button does what. Shoot. Just wait for it. I'd, I'd say I'd say either one of those is a good a good bet, Ricky. You're exactly right. I, I'm quite sure that that was where. Oh man, I need to make a more concerted effort there to not screw up. I'm sure that they got this from the Prince of Persia. You know what? We'll just go ahead and die here. Use the continue. I was hoping I'd get to drive the Flintstone mobile around, or you know, Fred's car, and uh, go to the drive-in. Okay. Well, that was not cool. Oh boy, could you have played that any worse? Oh my gosh. As if we needed more things to worry about in this game. <laughs> Here's just some death from above for you. Oh. Alright, guys. I think that what I'm going to do is, um, you know, I've got my... Actually, here's what we're going to do. We're going to kill ourselves. And then I'm going to save right after the continue. And uh, we're going to put this we're gonna put this stream to bed for the night. Uh, I didn't realize it would be going almost two and a half hours. This is the longest Friday free-for-all in history. Um, so, um, yeah, I just need, need some time to gather my thoughts. Um, but, like I said, I've, I've saved the game. So, we'll return to this uh, next, next uh, well, hopefully next Friday we'll be recording. But at some point in the future... Uh, I'll return to this and we will, I guarantee you, we, we will finish this. We will finish this game. Um, I like it, you know, even when it's frustrating, it never seems, I can figure out the patterns, you know, with the bosses and stuff and so. Thanks guys, thank you. Uh, Ricky, uh, Treyguard, Creepy Dead Boy, Fernando, Henrik, um, anybody else? Dan, thank you for, for joining us. You guys are welcome anytime. And um, make sure you, uh, tomorrow we're going to be recording at about the same time that uh, we're recording this. We're going to record Amigos episode 129, which is Jockey Wilson's World of Darts. And we're going to be recording the very first episode of Amigos Retro Gaming Presents, which will be taking a look at Caverns of Mars um, on a variety of platforms. So... Uh, we're both really excited about doing this new multi-platform show in addition to Amigos. So hopefully you'll be able to come out and, and uh, watch live and uh, participate in the show. We'll also be doing pre-show and all that stuff. So anyway, uh, thanks again for watching and uh, good night.